Hey guys, I want to catch you up on a few things. Um, I want to make sure I can't seem to find all the cabinets. We've got partial cabinets. I need to know everything that you've ordered, cabinets and faucets. We seem to be missing a couple, a couple and I'll get you that list later today. So come on in, I'm gonna show you some progress. And we have questions. So here's our half wall. Your vanity was set here. This is the half wall. Um, here's my question. You want the niche here? Or do you want the niche here? Or do you want the niche here? Most times we put them where you can't see them from a doorway, which would be down here low like this. Dealer's choice, whatever you want. All right, here's your toilet. This is how your tub sets. And here's the cutout I was talking about. So the tub sits here, dead center of the tub. The fossil will be all the way back here with the spout going in like this. And I've already got the little pocket lights to go in here. LED, you're going to love them. Is that all the questions for in here? All right, let's go to the next bathroom. You can just leave it on. Actually, let's talk about the stairwell. Boom, 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 boom. All right, from right there. Okay, so now this wall is it's now closed off and we have this. This has been handmade by some machine shop somewhere. It's nothing we could build in the field. I'd have to research it, order it. I have a thought. Would you guys be okay if I cut it off here? So this wainscoting would stop right here and then from here, regular wall, matches everything else up here. We just do regular wall, regular baseboard, trim it out just like the rest of this. So we'd have a separation point. Here it stops, here blank wall. Uh, if you want this wind's coating, let me know because I gotta research and find it. Alright, come on in here. Alright, first let's talk about this. Again, here's the little half wall. Vanity goes here. Shower. This is a shower. I'm six foot three, so we have plenty of room. Now, we have some choices. The door. So, the door, if we want to go with a small door, like a two foot door, we could have it swing this way. It's mounted here. I can keep this top glass wide open. But if you want the door here, swinging this way, I have to put what's called a header. It's that chrome or whatever, we match whatever the fixtures oil, oil are. Oil rub bronze. Oil rub, it'd be an oil rub bronze bar right here that the top hinge attaches to so that the door can swing this way. I need that answered quickly because we need to close this thing in. Uh, and here, we're gonna put the valve here, shower head here, same question, do you want the niche here? Would you like the niche here? Or would you like the niche here? And I always try to keep them low. If you want them high, be sure to let me know because if you don't say anything, they're coming in low so nobody can see them looking through the door because this half wall would hide it. Now look at this door. Actually, just come on in if you can, Josh, just get in here. So we have the toilet is going to go basically where I'm standing. And this leaves this open so that we can have the door swinging like this. You notice the angle. Do you want the door flat and short or do you want it tall and angled? And if it's okay with you guys, instead of using a six panel door like the rest of the house, I like to do a flat Luan door because we'll have the one by trim, one by trim, one by trim, and then it'll be a flat door and it'll kind of blend all in. If you don't like it, just let me know and we'll put whatever you want. But remember, Angled or flat? That's the that's the most important thing. Any more questions in here, Josh? No. All right, let's go in here. Okay. Commode's going to go right here. Half wall here. Your bench goes here. We're at the same spot. So we have plenty of room here, so I'm just we want to add a couple two by fours here for strength. And I'll have the door opening like this. If you don't like that, let me know. If you want it to open this way, remember 
I have to put a header piece in to support the hinges. So just remember that that's important. We have the shower valve here, shower head here. Do you want the niche here? Or would you like the niche over here? Or would you like the niche up high up here? And also we have two cans here and then our exhaust fan here. And I do believe Josh has already sent you the measurements for the vanity. And I need to know every vanity that's been ordered so that we make sure we have the plumbing right before we start floating this drywall and get it done. All right, pause it. Josh just brought up a good point. If we take the door, if you want it angled, if it's too high, when the door swings back, it hits right here. So if you want to keep the angle, we have to come down to about, what do you say about this height, Josh? About four inches, four or five inches probably. So right about here, that way when it swings, it hits here. And then if we do flat, of course, it'll open up a little farther. So just keep that in mind. All right, now pause it. Hey guys, um, I do believe you gave me clearances because I need to order this today on the bookshelf. We've got, we widened the door up just in case but the way it looks now is i'll have to close it in because right now from here to here is about 11 inches here to here is about 11 inches and the cabinets back here that we're going to reuse are 15 inches so that will take this opening down to a 30 inch door i just want to make sure you're good with that and okay here um this is the new frame back around here just so they can see it move this ladder oh. All right, so this isn't the size of the door when you see this. This is how you frame for a pocket door. Um, I do need to know pocket doors 100%, both for over there and here. I frame them for pocket doors. It's easily closed in to put in a normal door, but I do need that decision today. Um, here, this is, all, this is a closet that's going to be divided here. You have a closet for this side and a little closet for the bathroom here. Somebody patched it. We just had to tear it all out. We're going to rebuild it to where it's actually functional. Now walk around here, Josh. Just to remind you, this is me. This is going to go away. That is where our new air return is going to go. Is right in here. And pause it. All right, guys, there she is. So as you see, I made it the same size as the door. It's dead center all the way out. So, and uh, true French door, so you should be good there. This is French door, right? Yep. Okay, good, true French door, making sure. Um, I, this is made out of wood like the rest of the house. We don't have to worry about weather getting to or anything like that. You already know about this wall. Pause it. Okay, so now, if you remember the video, these were all singles. We've doubled everything up now. These are brand new. We did not take out the old ones because of the damage it could do to the upper floor, so we sistered next to them. But these are brand new. And then, Josh, you can come around here and see them. We even beefed up the old ones by putting, this is actual Boise Cascade manual repair. This is how you repair trusses that just had like the top cord cut. So all of this is strengthened up. You should never ever have a problem with it. We now the boys right now fan over to show them the plumbing parts. So that's what the boys are doing today. They're going to get all this roughed in and ready, and that's part of the reason we need to know the valves, with exactly what's coming, and all of that. But again, we'll get that list to you. All right, pause it again.